Welcome, my fabulous friends. <laughs> I am Buffy, and this is Buffy Designs, and I am doing some DIYs for Hocus Pocus 2. Stay tuned to be spooked. So I had my son-in-law cut this wood piece for me and sand it down really well. And now I'm spraying it with some chalkboard paint so that I can use some um, type of chalk paint that is washable. So here I'm putting on some clear wax uh, so that once I do use the paste, it will come off easily and I can reuse it for different pictures. So this is the frame that I picked up at the thrift store that didn't have glass in it. So make sure when you're looking around that, you know, it's not junk. Even if it doesn't have glass, you can use it for other uh, projects. So that's why I had my son-in-law cut this piece of wood. So I thought that would be good to um, be able to reuse it for different holidays and put different things on them. So I'm using this uh, folk art paste. It's kind of like chalk couture, but um, folk art makes this as well and it's thicker than chalk couture and I, I think that that's why I'm using this because it went on a lot smoother with this um, sign. Oh and I forgot to mention I did go on to Google and I found free stencil for the hair but the bottom portion it's October which is I actually created that on Canva myself. Um, if you would like to email me, I can send it to you for free. Um, but I'm probably going to start selling digital products here soon. I obviously went a lot slower than what this is, and I just sped up the video. <laughs> you want to take your time. And here I'm just pulling back that vinyl to reveal what it looks like. And this would look so cute if you had different colors of hair like they do. Um, and I don't know, it's, it still turned out really cute, the black and white. I like it. You just want to be careful pulling up that vinyl from the chalk paint. You don't want to pull it off really fast and have it um, pull the paint up. So then I'm just taking... Um, my little tool and removing the inner portions of the letters. Come check me out on TikTok. I have a bunch of cute videos that I'm sure you'll love. And you just want to touch up here and there where you think it might need it. I think it's cute. <laughs> so here's that frame again. And I'm just going to set it in and look how cute it looks. I'm loving it. And so the backing had those little pieces that hold it, but they were really flimsy and not staying put. And the, they had like grommets instead of screws, so it was getting really loose. So I'm just putting some hot glue to hold them steady. To hold it in and I think it turned out so super stinking cute here it is I love it so much Just like I mentioned earlier, my DIYs are based on Hocus Pocus 2, which comes out today. 
And in celebration of that, Annie at Indiana Jones has decided to host this cute little collaboration for us. You will definitely want to stop by her channel to check out what she's created. She is amazing. And also check the link for the playlist that is listed down below. Make sure you watch every single video. Now let's get back to those DIYs. So I have a few of these planners plastic containers and they're amazing containers. They hold a lot of stuff and I had this cute idea once I realized we were a part of this collaboration. So I'm using some black chalk paint, just giving it um, a good coat. Well, I actually gave it two good coats. You can also use spray paint, um, but I wanted the texture on the container to make it kind of look you know grungy <laughs> for witches and so I did give it two nice coats to cover it completely so after it dried I went to my laser printer and I found this cute little candy shop uh, sign and just printed it on some tissue paper and I'll have a link to show you how to do the tissue paper up above um, I have a video that um, goes over all of that for you. So I'm just cutting it out close to the edge here so that once I glue it on the container you won't see all of the, the sides. But it is uh, white so it would probably not show very much anyway. So I'm just cutting all the way around. And then I'm getting my Mod Podge. Um, and just putting a good coat on the base and just the size of that square of tissue. And then I'm just measuring where I want to put it and laying it down. And you if you hurry quickly, you can kind of maneuver it uh, pretty well, but um, you kind of don't want to rip it, so you have to be really careful. So I'm just making sure Mod Podge is all around under the edges and then giving it a good coat over the top. And I didn't want that Mod Podge on the sides because it's, it's a little bit more shiny than the paint, so I'm just wiping it around the edges. So because I couldn't decide on which design to use for these uh, little containers, I decided to do both. So I'm using plaster, Waverly plaster paint, and this one didn't cover quite as well, but I did give it two coats and it kind of crackled, which is fine because of the look that I'm going for with this. But I had to put some Mod Podge over the second coat on certain spots to keep it from peeling off. So you might want to watch that with the plastic container. So here I'm just measuring um, this one out. This one I actually printed on my desk jet um, and not the laser jet um, because it's an ink jet and it does it in color. The only thing I should have done on this one is sprayed it uh, with some clear spray uh, first before I Mod Podged it on because it can smear the color. You don't want that to happen. Uh, but it turned out still really cute. I was able to, to kind of fix it and be careful with it. So I'm doing the same thing as I did before. Just Mod Podging down first, putting the tissue paper on and then smoothing it out and putting another coat of Mod Podge over the top. And when you cut the paper just make sure it's straight. So now I'm just painting the lids with that same black chalk paint um, on both of them and just kind of swirling it around to give it a rounded texture on the top of the lid. So 
So now I thought it would be cute to have little knobs on the top, like little handles. And I got these from an old window that I redid that you need to watch my video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but I just hot glued them on. I didn't paint them or anything because they were already black and distressed. So I just left them the way they were and hot glued them right in the center. I just wanted to wipe off some extra glue so it wouldn't ooze all over. So now I've just wiped off the excess paint on the bottom that was dried a little bit and just screwed them on. Look how cute. I'm so proud of these. They turned out so cute. And this one is adorable. I love that one. And I think these would be cute for um, gifts like for Halloween to give your neighbors or to give a teacher filled with a bunch of goodies. I just think a really cute idea and I hope that you enjoy. Thank you for making it all the way through my video. I appreciate you. And I hope that you enjoyed my DIYs. I love how they all turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And make sure that you check out the playlist link down below for all of the other lovely YouTubers that have joined this collaboration. And don't forget to watch Hocus Pocus 2 today. I can't wait to see it. And if you would, please subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. And like and share this video to your friends. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.